Hey girls, um, I'm super excited to be giving you guys a makeup tutorial today because Bag Smart sent me this makeup bag and it looks like, I don't know, it's like it was designed by a woman for real. Like, look at that. Okay, I also think I lost the lid to this in one freaking day. I literally got it yesterday, I think. I've used this Hydro Grip Primer. I'm not gonna use it now. <laughs> Y'all, this YouTube is not for me. I wanted to use this, I got this, and then I got the e.l.f. bronzing drops. Which are both brand new product. Um, but I have some like tinted SPF sunscreen on already from this morning, so I don't really want to mess that up. The products I have on already, I, this morning I put on tinted sunscreen, which is still on a little bit, and then this Sachu lip stain. This is shade pink, but earlier I put on mauve. I kind of want to do my makeup, and that's all that I want to do, all that I know I want to do. So I'm going to get this, these little elf bronzing drops in shade copper gold put that much on my fingers and then i'm gonna get some lotion from the other room everything's in the other room today sorry i'm gonna put a little bit of that on my face not really blend it in i'm just gonna kind of tap the bronzing drops where i want them yeah sure that works sorry i'm trying to look at myself in the mirror behind me i probably need more of these i don't want to be too bronzed because i put a little too much on yesterday and i look kind of weird and fake sure why not this is gonna be makeup for like a slick back little bun tutorial put this away and then I'm gonna take this, got to be glued, it is so old, it's running out so much, but it's fine because I have used this probably every day for the past two years. It goes in my hair, I'm using it for my brows, just gelling those up. Sorry, I'm like looking, not, I probably think I have crazy lazy eye because I'm looking at the mirror behind me. I'm trying to get better at filming on camera because I honestly personally don't think I'm that good. I'm a lot better than when I started filming, but I don't think I have that natural charisma yet that I have in real life that translates to the camera. So I'm gonna try and get better at that. So be looking forward for more, y'all. Be looking for more videos from me, y'all. Some like actual YouTube videos. Cause TikTok is easy, but like it doesn't even count. It's so bad. I don't like TikTok. I, they pay you like crap. It's so bad. The only way to actually make money from it is TikTok shop. And that's kind of it. Cause I'm not good at it yet. Guys, when I say I leave my stuff everywhere and I forget where it was, I gave myself a haircut earlier today and I left the mirror outside. Like, why is it outside? Couldn't even tell you. I got my full setup right here. Mirror, mirror, phone, other mirror behind the phone. I already curled my lashes because I cannot find my lash curler. So I stole my sister and I used my sister's lash curler and I used it. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I didn't do anything at all because our beach vacation got postponed and I was sad about it. So I kind of just made other videos all day because I, all I ever do is make videos, TBH. Make videos, go to the gym, go to work. Because I want making videos to be my real job, so why would I not do it now? Low-key practicing. Purse that used to be my own makeup bag, getting a little worn out, but it's my favorite bag ever and it's red. I do wear, like, not like a lot of makeup, like a lot of full face, but like I have a lot of different products and I use them all. I am not like a five product girly, I'm like a... Billy, like a 10 product girly look at that whatever way you will the y'all always be asking what mascara i use and it is this thrive cosmetics mascara and i love it it's a tubing mascara almost end of july now and i've had this since christmas eve when my aunt got it for me and it's honestly the best mascara ever i don't think i'll ever change from it um unless like i find something that's better for cheaper it's a little bit expensive but again 25 bucks for six months of mascara, and it's like the best mascara that you ever used. Like, that's nothing. Oh, I wish they sold this in store, because then I would just buy a lot more of it. But because I have to like think about it, I feel like for me, I don't really buy online that much, because I hate it, unless it's like TikTok shop, because that stuff gets sent to me, which is so nice and super cool. So thank you to all my followers on TikTok, because y'all really be getting me some free stuff. Why I got that little bag that I'm wearing, that I have right now. But you see what I mean by like the falsy effect? Like, hello, lashes. Like, y'all, some of y'all weren't there before. The tips of my lashes are blonde, and this really gets them to be super pronounced. I also feel like it's helped my lashes grow. My sister was looking at my lashes earlier, and she was like, oh my gosh, like, your lashes, this is just to get all, like, the mascara off. She was like, your lashes are so long, and I think it's because, I don't necessarily think it's because of the mascara, but I think it's because I don't have to scrub them to get the mascara off, so I lose less of them. So they look a lot like thicker and longer and they get to grow a little more because I'm not putting so much pressure on them. Because once you put these in water, like all you have to do is like touch them off. 
and it literally like the mascara falls right off which is so nice guys also look at that little cut that's so unfortunate so now it's time for concealer i'm gonna take the nars creamy liquid the nars creamy liquid concealer today i'm doing shade 1.75 tiramisu my sister has this shade it's like honey and shades it's like shade three light honey or something like that and it works so well because i have pink undertones in my skin if you couldn't tell like i'm pretty rosy red skin like i have like pretty like red skin so this is the spot where i'm putting my concealer i didn't really expect to do this much concealer today but i am i'm putting it especially on that big fat pimple that big fat spot i don't really like the bronzing drops i've decided i think if i was wearing no other makeup sure but i kind of think they they do a bit too much or maybe i just put too much on today and the other days that i've used them like i genuinely think a little goes a long way i don't like the way fake tan looks on me so that's also probably why a lot of makeup artists actually blend their concealer with a brush and not their fingers which i think is super cool because i was like wait makeup artists do that <laughs> i do that and it made me feel special and smart and makeup artisty which honestly i feel like i could be a makeup artist um, I think it would be cool. I love making people feel beautiful. I think that's why I really want to post gym content and stuff like that. It's because I love making people feel beautiful, like the best version of themselves. Sometimes the best version of yourself, for me, I would say is me wearing makeup or like me with a good beat. Oh, I feel so confident, like a good natural makeup look. Like I'm like, yes guys, you're still into the hottest woman ever, like da da da. Oh, I can feel my lymph nodes are swollen. But basically I do want to help people be the best and most like, beautiful like feel beautiful stuff like that so that's why i want to post gym content because i do feel like to a degree like self-care is taking care of it's gonna be stupid self-care is taking care of yourself like and taking care of yourself is so good for you like going to the gym is good for you that's why i think hot take <sighs> some people are like body positivity is body positivity that but i think that the message has been lost which is you should always be trying to be the healthiest version of yourself in my opinion it's what's gonna make you the happiest it's what's gonna give you purpose be the being the best version of you and being the best version of you scientifically if you want to be the happiest like t your goal should always be the happiest version of yourself and that's gonna have to be with working out and like at least getting out for like 30 45 minutes a day and going on a walk like you don't have to look like the best person ever as long as you're like walking and being outside and doing something with your life for 45 minutes a day something physical is gonna raise your endorphins like make you happier and i see people um that are like i don't know like complaining like i wish i da -da -da -da, like i wish i felt better had more self-confidence self-confidence isn't even gonna be in the way that you look after getting physical activity once a day for that long it's gonna be the way you feel because i don't know it gives you a sense of control a sense of empowerment and a sense of i get to choose what i'm doing with oh my gosh i have hair all over me from my haircut earlier it's like i get to choose what i'm doing with my body you know i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if i can cancel for that i don't know if any of you will even watch this or if it'll, if it'll even get past 100 views because a lot of my videos i've been lacking a little bit y'all love my shorts though to be fair y'all love the beauty videos so maybe this will get past 100 views so this is my also highly requested nose contour so i love to do nose contours and contour my little face especially when i'm wearing a slick back because i feel like sometimes the no hair needs to be compensated for so that's the con that's it that's the makeup look all the like body positivity stuff i think we lost a little bit of it's okay to want to be a healthier better healthier is better sorry about healthier better version of you as long as you're like you know what i mean healthier doesn't always mean skinnier healthier means like I don't know in control of your life and in your feelings and if you're not feeling good you know that you have the control and the power to distract yourself to go to the gym to go play grab friends play pickleball go out get a coffee and sit outside and like chillax in the sun like knowing that you have the power to make yourself better that's also healthy and mental and important in mental health so if you do work out you know that mental health and physical health do go hand in hand um, and I used to be like, no, 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 until I realized that, oh, like, crap, people are right. Working out does make you feel better and be a better person. Um, you don't even have to be, like, that good at it. You just have to literally take a freaking walk outside. You don't gotta be no fancy anything, just the desire to 
be doing something and raising your energy levels. <laughs> be good. So this is my bronzer brush that I'm gonna bronze my face with later. So I'm just blending this nose contour in a bit, the eyeballs in a bit. I'm gonna dip it into this cheap, um, it's literally a hula bronzer dupe. Like, y'all put the flowers on there. It's called Honolulu Sunblazed. What's the other one that I have called? And it's a dupe for, this was seven bucks in Spain. I genuinely think the hula is like 35. They tried so hard to copy. So it's this for the hula bronzer. <laughs> by Benefit, um, W7. This is like a famous, famous brand at, what's it called, Primor in Spain. If y'all didn't know me, I live in Spain half the year. If y'all don't subscribe to my YouTube because I wanted to go far for college and I couldn't afford it, but somehow stuff worked out and I could afford American online school and just to live in Spain because rent is a little cheaper and like one of the biggest and best cities in the world. I live in Barcelona. I live with all the hot soccer players, hot, fo hot football players all the hottest football players um key like y'all don't need to be going to college in america you can get your degree and do other stuff other things that are better for you or if you want that american college experience seize the day bruh if you got that scholarship do not let it do not let it go to waste girl if you got that scholarship i want to see you pursuing that if you got those parents that are blessed enough to be paying for your college pursue that what oh Anyways, I have three younger siblings. That's a fun fact. Um, one of them has a YouTube channel. I think it's like AJX Creations or Doggies and Unicorns or something like that. It's actually quite funny. It's genuine, like, comedy. Okay, now I just look like a freaking chav. Like, what the hell happened to this natural beat makeup look? Ladies, we really just really messed it up, didn't I? Sorry, guys. Try not to curse on here. Because I don't think my, like, little girl cousins could watch my videos because they're kind of, like, sometimes I talk about, like, mature things that aren't for, like, five-year-old girls. But I want, like, them to one day, if they're, like, 13 and on YouTube, to find my old videos and not be polluted by my language or the things that I talk about. But sometimes, I'll, I'll be honest, though, like, I am a 19-year-old girl. And some things I talk about are, like, I don't know, like, for 19-year-old girls. Sometimes I think and I'm, like... I want little girls that go to my church to be able to watch this and not have their parents be like, why is she saying that? You know what I mean? Like, I just want to be an inspiration to younger girls so that, I don't know, whether you're watching my videos and stuff, like, I just want to help people make them feel beautiful um, so that they can, like, avoid the same mistakes that I did. See me for running out, y'all. Kidding, guys. Um, I'm just messing around at this point. I'm taking this little lip stain that I got here in pink it there because i just want to feel how it feels um actually i'm just gonna put on my whole lid yeah oh goodness me guys i do love to chat i love spending time by myself i strongly believe that you have to enjoy spending time by yourself before you can get into like a relationship but even more so like in a friendship like if you can be by yourself it will, oh goodness me, oh no. It'll make your friendship stronger and better because then you'll look for people who are like secure in themselves and you don't need to like look at them for validation or anything. Uh, but also likewise, if when you have good friendships that aren't fake, holy moly, uh oh, then that does help you be secure in yourself because you're like, oh, I don't have to kiss up to these girls who are... I don't know. Don't even matter. Yo, I did a bad job and I'm sticky now and I don't like being sticky. Um, BRB, one sec. I right, something's wrong here. Hey y'all, if I'm being honest, I think I kind of overdid it on the makeup. So I'm gonna just grab this towel thing, like a headband towel thing and like rub it all over my face. Anyways. So maybe that's better, maybe it's not. Something that does always help though, this is about to be a hack. It's about to be the hack of the century. If your makeup, you're like, oh, it looks too cakey, looks too this, looks too that. Fake freckles. Well, oh my gosh, my legs asleep. We'll always, always, always save your makeup look. I think this is like something for popping pimples, but whatever. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, it is, definitely is. 
Um, I'm using the Shane Dawson Spiracy <laughs> palette. Uh, he was in cancel. I'm using that shade for my freckles. Shade dot root bear. I don't know what type of content you want to see. I really do like these. Just spill my guts, do my makeup videos. Because I love makeup and I do it probably every day. And I love it. And I think it's really nice to make yourself feel beautiful, you know? I like making TikToks with my mom sometimes. She'll like, be like, can you do my makeup? Because she really likes when I do it. Because I feel like I have like a young approach to makeup. And she likes to feel young. Yeah, I don't know what that, like, that just makes me sound like I'm stupid and have a big ego or something. I don't know, I hope you get what I mean. It makes me feel good to make her feel good. She feels confident. One time when I was doing her makeup, she's like, John, look at how good Shayla did my makeup. Like, da 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 da. I'm like, aw, so cute. And her husband, her husband, my dad, is like, oh, like, honey, you look so cute. You know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm using this darker shade because that other one was just like not giving me freckly enough. I'm put two at a time and then I can like adjust the distance. Oh, hey, no. And especially. But well, you must always put it here. Today's Saturday. What does the Y close? I think they close kind of later today. Alexa, what time does the YMCA close? Well, I think the YMCA is going to close soon. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.57 p.m. Okay, it's like 5. I think they close at 7. Yes. Goodness, Alexa, she's being such a tweak bot right now. So I did that. And I'm doing this. I'm just doing the upper waterline. I think it makes my eyes pop, and I'm just gonna add a whatever shadows there. Sure, whatever. That looks cute, right? Right. I'm gonna tap this out with my fingers, because I feel like the fingers help it carry. And if it's on your finger, like, then it'll put a lighter freckle somewhere else, you know what I mean? And I was trying to accentuate my mole, but it kind of looks like a giant pimple scar right now. But it's okay, because I have a giant pimple there, so it's not really hiding anything. It's, it's fine, guys. It's fine, like ignore that like i like when people are happy and i wish that i knew how to be happy and how to regulate my happiness earlier because i feel like in high school especially in really high school i was like unhappy some random sometimes and i didn't really realize how much it correlated to stress how much it correlated to being stuck inside my house because of quarantine like and whatever like you have strict parents you don't have strict parents whatever but like your family stresses you out and sometimes you do need to get out of the house and realizing that at a younger age, I think it would have helped me more. Like, once I turned 16, I was kind of, my problems kind of began to solve themselves because I realized, like, patterns I was having, like, oh, when I work out at the gym a couple times a week, I feel better. Oh, when I journal every day, I feel better. Oh, when I read my Bible every day, life gets a little easier. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not alone. Uh, also realizing you're not alone in all your friends and, like, getting a solid friend group that is like a support, that is a good support circle helps so much. I've been using this lip stain, no joke, every day since I got it. I'm obsessed with it. It stays on for so long. I really do love it. And uh, I think that everyone should get it. Links in my TikTok shop if you follow that. Oh, she's singing in there. Hey. The Joker. It's a darn Joker. For funsies, I want to put this on my lips. Just a bit. It's um the Elf Lip Glow, whatever, da da da, in Jam Session, and it busts down. Found it. I love this highlighter. Um, my really really mean ex boyfriend got it for me, but at least one good thing came of that relationship, so that's good. Um, I'm also super qualified for relationship advice. So, um, hit me up, y'all. I've been in, in about every bad situation and have learned my worth. And I think that's part of the reason why the good Lord above put me through those situations. So that I could have help other people, little girls on my on this platform. To not fall for the laws of the enemy. The enemy meaning the laws of men. Also the laws of the enemy. So I love contouring my nose. It's probably one of the first things I, I did. I learned how to do with makeup because that probably had something to do with the anime influence that was 2020 on literally everyone unfortunately I was like wait if I can get an anime nose I'm blessed with like a tiny little nose which is the beauty standard but like still I am insecure about my nose I have a bump on it no one else can see the bump but me no one else sees that bump you're, you're the most big crit you're the you're a big fat crit critique of you you're the only one you're the only one that cares girl trust
So now I'm taking the Hula bronzer, which I don't really like that much. Because my $7 bronzer is so much better for literally fraction of the price. <sighs> Guys, this is not a good beat. I don't appreciate it. I'm praying this works out. I have this thing I got from Morocco, and I love it. And it's a lip stain. And the blush color looks really good. But the blush is a liquid blush. And I didn't put it on beneath my powder products. So it's going to be a bit of a disaster. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to coat the whole thing in water. Got a little bit on my lips. I'm going to take this brush put it in there um and pray for the fact that oh wait it kind of did work i don't really want it anywhere else besides like my little cheeks my nose i'm gonna put a bit more brown line on the outside i'm just gonna kiss something ready makeup hack that actually did not work out well at all guys help send help all i want is to do these lips guys please Mm, it does not look right in my head, I don't think. I'm gonna take a walk and then come back and see if it looks any better, okay? Love you, bye. Oh, wait, at this angle. Wait, I did like the lower waterline on that side and this side. Wait, hi, Um, I switched cameras and I'm sorry. Okay, bye, love you guys. A lot of things for watching. Let me know what other content you guys wanna see. Maybe I'll like take a little mirror selfie as though.